welcome, Don Connor here. Well, today we're going to draw a very cute little puppy dog. And uh, it's very pleased with itself. It's either just found a bone or it's just about to bury a bone. And over here we have a little robin and the robin's looking on thinking, uh, mm, could be a few worms around here. So you can make up a little story <laughs> and something like this. Okay, ready? Pencils and paper? Good. So if you start off by drawing an oval shape like this, and then put a line through it like this, a line across like this, and two little lines there. So you're indicating the eyes up there. And a dog has a snout, as you know. So we bring a shape out like this, and back around like that. And so that's roughly the head. Now the body, again, we can keep on this sort of X type shape, like this, go around like that. And then we indicate where the feet would be. And of course, it's slightly turned away from us. And we just connect up the head with the body like that. And we indicate where we want to put the tail. And one of the ears is raised up like that. And then one ear is down like that. And then you can put in the, the snout and whatever. So that's roughly the shape uh, of the dog that we want to draw. So are we ready? Great. So I'm, as usual, I like to start with the eyes. So up here, I'm going to draw two egg shapes like this. Right beside each other. And you can see one is slightly behind the other. Now we put two little black uh, grape shapes like this for the pupils. And the same again here. Now we, we draw a line out like this and then we draw the muzzle and the, the snout. We go an, another round shape like that. Or you can make it slightly square, but anyway, this is what I've done. And a little line there and a little line there. These little curved lines there suggest the nostrils. And we can put a little T-shape like this in between there like that. Now we draw, we draw the, the mouth and the, the kind of lips hanging down like this. And the same on the other side like that. Go up like this. Now, what, what next thing I want to do is to put in the, uh, the bone. <laughs> there was an old expression, I have a bone to pick with you. Uh, I don't know where that comes from. I think it's usually to have a row with somebody, <laughs> which we know doesn't want that, do we? Anyway, here's the bone. And we draw a curve like that, curve like that, and off it goes. A line here, curve here, curve here, then we connect up like that. And then we'll have the, the mouth slightly open, like that. And you can probably just indicate maybe a couple of little teeth like that and blacken that bit up like that now we'll go up here and we'll draw the ear we'll start here we we'll go up like this back around down like this back up here and then connect up to the head and over here we we'll do the top of the head like this and the great thing about drawing is you know, you can see the way shapes uh, form and you, you start looking at shapes and that helps you when you're drawing uh, to see the shape of whatever it is. Now we go back here and we draw the rest of the other ear. Put down like that and up. And so I'm happy with that. And then I go underneath here 
uh, we put a few squiggly lines like that and connect it up like that. And we're going to give the dog uh, actually a little collar. So, so people know who, who owns the dog. <laughs> And back up here, now remember the way I showed you how to draw the, this lovely shape for the body. So, just again, think of this shape, but it's moving off this direction. So we go off like this, back around like that, and back around like this. Now, just put a little line like that. And a little line like that. So we're showing the feet and the legs from a slightly back view, as you can see. And then it just indicate the other foot there. And then we say, okay, let's put that tail up somewhere there. Now Back here, we draw the front, paws, feet, like that. And just remember, because we're drawing this slightly unusual angle, uh, it just makes the picture a little bit more interesting. Uh, we draw a line now like this, and then we have the other paw. That's my paw you're drawing. <laughs> Now, uh, just roughly indicate a, a tree a trunk here, very quick, just a, a squiggly line like that. Uh, another line over here, another line over here. And then, just to indicate maybe a hole that he's about to dig or he's dug up and he's going to bury the, the bone. <laughs> so we few, a few little bits of grass or dirt lying around like that. So once we're happy with that, then we go over and we draw the robin. Again, just think of a sort of egg shape. So yeah, the, the top head is, top of the head looks like this. And we put a little thin bill like this, back around like that. And the eye, again, a bit like a big egg shape. And it's, it has a slightly curious look on its face. And we go right this, right around like that. Same on the other side. And we just indicate a few feathers, slightly ruffled. And uh, indicate where the wing would fold in like that. And the next is we want to suggest it's sitting on a branch, so a squiggly line like that, up like that. And there's a, a little leaf, maybe another one there, another one there, another one there, maybe another one there. Now, so you can add a few more things just to emphasize maybe the eyebrows, yeah. And, and again, this is what's called an action line. So a little curve like that. Well, you know, I'm delighted that there's so many people uh, enjoying the programs and they're watching it. Some, some big, some small, some adults. Some, uh, so <laughs> it's a bit like what C.S. Lewis said about books. He said a good children's book should be read by a 10 year old or a 50 year old and still be enjoyed. And it's the same with drawing cartoons or whatever it may be you know it's a bit of fun anyway i'm going to put a quick bit of color on that you can make the dog any color you like uh, but first of all i'm just going to put in a little bit of a, a bit of a sun there very roughly and then a few little lines like that and actually we just make the dogs Slightly orangey yellow looking. This. Again, I'm doing this very quickly. You can take your time. Then I put a little bit of brown 
for the years, just to add a bit of uh, a difference. There we are, like that. And uh, the grass, we'll do it a mixture of green and a little bit of brown as well. So yeah, I'm just using these crayons, using them very quickly here. And the robin, by the way, I know everybody says the robin red breast. Actually, you know, its breast is more orange than red, but anyway, this is my opinion. So here's a bit of orange. There, like that. I put a tiny bit of red in the orange. Like that. A little bit of brown. Like that. You can add things like little bits of highlight here, like a little bit of blue here, like that, maybe. And same on the other side. You can use your finger as well. Put a brown on the tree. So it's a nice little fun picture for you to draw. And if you have a pet, <laughs> a dog, a cat, uh, a goldfinch, whatever, you might try and <laughs> see could you do a little cartoon of them. It's a good exercise. Now, very quickly, I'm going to put a little bit of colour on this. Uh, as I've done the colour, of course, and I mean a little bit of water on this. So, just put it. Now, and we're running it up here like that. Normally, you do this on a flat surface. Anyway, this is the way I'm doing it. Just run it along like that. We go up here. Oh, actually, we'll do the leaf here like that. The same on yellow. You could add yellow to the leaf, give it a little bit of colour like I did with the other picture. So that's how we, we draw our little mutt. And uh, I hope you enjoy that. So what I'll do is, I'll just leave you with the original drawing I did earlier. And as I said, uh, if you want to work up the shape, just start it with a pencil. So here we are, returning the uh, original drawing I did earlier. Let's just see. A very cute little puppy dog. So I hope you have a very happy day. And until the next time, this is John Conroy. You take care. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you wish.